Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about matched filter receiver. <coughs> matched filter is nothing but it is the network which maximizes the peak signal to mean voice ratio. Okay, so we can define the matched filter as a network whose frequency response maximizes <coughs> the peak signal to mean noise ratio mean noise ratio <clears throat> so what do you mean by matched filter matched filter what we are receiving in the receiver see matched filter we are using in the receivers of the radar systems so when we are using the matched filter in the receiver the main purpose of the matched filter is improve it improves the the quantity of the signal that is being received among the noisy components that means it improves the factor that is signal to noise ratio <coughs> okay so how can you express the bandwidth of the receiver bandwidth of the receiver is equal to the bandwidth of if amplifier most of the cases when i was explaining the bandwidth of the receiver and when we were studying the characteristics of receiver the signal amount of signal enters into the receiver and passes through the receiver is completely depending upon the IF amplifier because the bandwidth of the receiver is equal to we can purely say it is equal to <coughs> bandwidth of IF amplifier okay so bandwidth of the receiver is equal to bandwidth of the IF amplifier so the, that means IF amplifier decides the entire signal how much it has to enter and how much it has to be eliminated so that is completely depending upon the bandwidth of the IF amplifier. So here IF amplifier is acting as the matched filter. In the receiver, the matched filter is nothing but your IF amplifier because it decides the amount of signal that enters into the receiver and what is the part of the signal that is being eliminated. Okay, so matched filter in the general receiver technology is nothing but your IF amplifier that selects the signals and eliminates the noise. So in general, matched filter is nothing but it is the network whose frequency response maximizes the peak signal to mean noise ratio. <coughs> that is the matched filter. And now the frequency response The frequency response function h of f <coughs> let us consider the frequency response function of the matched filter is h of f see here onwards i will use this term h of f capital h of f which is varying with respect to frequency it is nothing but the frequency response of the matched filter expresses expresses the amplitude and phase of the output of the filter with respect to input. Okay, so the frequency response here we are representing with the H of F, which is the frequency response of the matched filter that actually consists of both the amplitude information and as well as phase information. Okay, so it, it is with respect to the input. So it is the frequency response of the matched filter at the output with respect to the variations in the input signal. Okay, so what is the main purpose of the <coughs> matched filter? It is used to select the amount of signal present over the receiver bandwidth. So now let us consider if the bandwidth of, listen clearly, if the bandwidth of receiver is more 
then the bandwidth of signal then what happens if the bandwidth of the receiver is more than the bandwidth of the received signal actual signal bandwidth is very less than the bandwidth of the receiver then along with the original signal unnecessary noisy components uh, they also enter into the receiver okay so then noise will also enter into the receiver okay suppose let us consider the opposite case if the bandwidth of the receiver bandwidth of the receiver is less than the bandwidth of signal okay now what happens we are taking the condition that the signal received signal is having more bandwidth than the bandwidth of the receiver what we have used like if amplifier then what happens original signal may be lost okay so then there is a possibility that we may lose the original signal because of the narrow bandwidth so then original or the required signal may be lost so definitely we should choose the bandwidth of the receiver in such a way that it should select the required amount of signal and eliminate all other noisy components okay we should not select more bandwidth we should not select a narrow bandwidth so if we are selecting more bandwidth definitely it loses some uh, it uh, allows some other noisy components if we are using narrow bandwidth we are losing some amount of information so it, it is a main compromise between these two factors that we have to select the bandwidth of the receiver <coughs> okay so let us consider if the received signal is s of t if the received signal is s of t here s of t is nothing but received signal s of t small s of t then the frequency response of the matched filter is then the frequency response of the <coughs> match filter is so what is the frequency response of match filter what i told you capital h of f is equal to let us consider a constant like arbitrary constant g a into s star of f exponential of minus j 2 pi f t 1 okay so h of f is equal to g a s star of f exponential of minus j 2 pi f t 1 this expression is very important we should remember okay so match the filter frequency response h of f is expressed as g a some constant into s star of f exponential of minus j 2 pi f t 1 so let us see what is what in this equation where what is s of f what is a s of f s of f is nothing but it is the frequency response of the s of t see s of t is nothing but received signal s of t is nothing but received signal so we can say s of f is as integral minus infinity to infinity s of t exponential of minus j 2 pi f t dt this is what the frequency response of the s of t s of f is the frequency response of s of t so then what is s star of f s star of f is nothing but complex conjugate complex conjugate of s of f complex conjugate is nothing but opposite phase complex conjugate of s of f 
and similarly t1 what is the other factor what we have t1 t1 is nothing but it is a fixed value of time at which the signal is observed to be maximum so it is the time it is the time at which the signal is observed to be maximum okay so what are the others we have ga normally ga is nothing but a constant 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 normally which is the maximum gain we can say it is the filters maximum gain maximum filter gain okay so ga is nothing but constant filter maximum gain so this is the expression of matched filter frequency response h of f in terms of the received signal s of t now let us see how long these two are equal and uh, what could be the actual relation between the phase and amplitude amplitude and phase of the matched filter and the amplitude and phase of the received signal see this is the main expression we have to remember this take it as one now let us rewrite the phase and amplitude uh, of this signal h of f and uh, s of f uh, in received signal in received signal s of f can be expressed as amplitude mod s of f and phase as and phase as exponential of exponential of minus j phi s of f okay so this is nothing but amplitude and this is nothing but phase and similarly the filter response h of f is expressed as amplitude mod h of f and phase what is phase exponential of minus j phi m of f minus j phi m of f so this is the amplitude and phase now what we are what we are doing we are separating what is the amplitude and phase of this received signal as well as matched filter frequency response now substitute these two values in that main equation one what happens it what is the main equation one <coughs> from equation one h of f is equal to g a s star of f okay exponential of minus j 2 pi f t1 okay ignore this ga let us consider ga is equal to 1 maximum gain is unity then substitute was it is h of f h of f can be written as mod h of f amplitude into phase exponential of minus j phi m of f is equal to s star of f so here it is s of f mod uh, amplitude will not vary amplitude is constant s mod s of f into so s star of f it is having the phase information as exponential of minus j phi s of f so what it becomes exponential of minus becomes plus j phi s of f into already exponential of minus j 2 pi f t 1 it is here so when you multiply these two mod s of f is as it is and this one becomes exponential of minus j if you take it as common phi s of f plus 2 pi f t 1 now equate the magnitude and phase so magnitudes of the received signal and the matched filter are equal okay magnitudes are equal and phase information so phase information is phi m of f is equal to here we have minus on the left hand side right hand side is also minus uh, so it is
see here my uh, when we are having this complex conjugate of this one minus becomes plus and this is minus of this one okay this is plus uh, when we are taking this as plus and this is minus okay so it becomes minus phi s of f because here we have minus minus and when it is going to the other side minus and becomes it is become plus this is the phase information okay now in the conclusion we can say that the amplitude spectrum of the matched filter is same as the amplitude spectrum of the received signal as h of f is equal to mod s of f but what about the phase information the phase spectrum of the matched filter is negative phase spectrum is equal to negative of the received signal with a phase shift of 2 pi f t1 okay so we need to write this statement as therefore the amplitude spectrum of the matched filter is same as the amplitude spectrum of same as the amplitude spectrum of the received signal but the phase spectrum of the matched filter is the negative of the phase spectrum of phase spectrum of whose received signal received signal plus a phase shift of plus a phase shift of 2 pi f t1 so which is proportional to frequency which is proportional to frequency okay so this is the matched filter receiver so what is the matched filter receiver matched filter is nothing but it is the receive it is the network whose frequency response maximizes the peak signal to mean noise ratio so we need to choose the bandwidth of the receiver in such a way that it should be compromised between the higher and lower that means uh, we should not select the more bandwidth we should not select narrow bandwidth and the matched filter frequency response is h of f is equal to g a star of f exponential of minus j 2 pi f t1 so in this what we are comparing we are comparing how much is the amplitude and uh, phase is equal to the received signal frequency so that means when we are passing through the received signal when we are passing through the matched filter what about the amplitude and frequency that we are doing here okay this is what the matched filter receiver. Thank you.